Hey everybody, welcome back. Whiskey's Adventures. I figured I'd make a short little video. So, I plan on hot tent camping this year. Been wanting to do it for the last couple years. Just never had the spare money to buy the gear I needed to do it with. Got myself a second job and been saving up. So, I uh, purchased the uh, my hot stove came in today. Um, my hot tent it hasn't came in yet. So, what I'm doing out here today is going to do a full burn-in on this thing from the research I've done. Um, says you should uh, do a full burn-in before you ever put it in a hot tin because of possible oils or anything that's on the metal to burn it all off. Because obviously you don't want all that stuff in your tent. Now, I have never ran a hot stove before. I'm just going off my knowledge of running stoves that you would find inside your house to uh, run this. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. But the full attention tonight was just to do a full burn-in on this thing. And, uh, and kind of learn how to work my stove before I get in the field with it in the hot tent because I don't obviously uh, want to get in the field and don't know what I'm doing here. So we're going to sit here and burn this stove in for a couple hours a night and get it nice and hot and learn how to work the thing. It's pretty cool. Pretty excited about this. Been wanting to do this for a while. And now I finally was able to do it. So here we go. Here we go. Pretty cool, huh? Got a nice fire going in there now. All the vents wide open. Yep. Well, folks, she is rocking and rolling. <clears throat> so, one thing I have noticed with this stove. It is the cheapest one that you can find on the market, which may I may regret, but I may not. It's got the vents on both sides. So right now, I got the side that's got the stove pipe on it closed and the other side open. I had both sides open. I was having problems keeping the stove going. And I don't know if it's because it was just sucking right in and up and not going through. So I closed this side of the stove and kept this side open and i got it open full bore and now the stove is rocking and rolling some good heat coming off that thing too man that's awesome she's rocking and rolling pretty good i think i've got the stove figured out or somewhat anyways i'm just keeping the vent that's on the side of the stove pipe closed i'm keeping the site that's over here open i'm keeping it open full bore i'm not closing it by any means and I figured I'd go ahead because it's putting off really good heat I go ahead and see if I can start boiling some water and see what this thing can do so this pan's been on here for probably about two two minutes three minutes maybe so we're, we're gonna bring it to a boil or attempt to stay tuned So now, there we go. Look at that, folks. We got boiling water. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I think I'm figuring out my stove, so this is awesome. But we'll go ahead and end the video here. I just wanted to show off and to be continued on the hot tent and hot stove. This is doing good. 
All right, folks, thanks for watching. Holler at your boy. Peace. I'm tell you to see. Home, buffet. Home. Oh, there's a whole stove here. This thing's hot, huh?